We were very low on our uptake of direct payments and we also knew that we needed to do a really radical rethink about how we provided services and um, we decided that personalisation and personal budgets would be a, a good vehicle for, for really helping us to move along um, the path of um, increasing people's choice and control in Hartlepool. Whilst we had very high satisfaction levels, they were very much geared around very traditional services. We arranged services for people, we made all the decisions fundamentally with people but, but effectively on their behalf. And um, what, where we did have poor satisfaction levels, it was around um, the things that, pe that are very important to people. So whilst we might have said personal care, um, some people said, well, actually it's gardening or it's taking my dog out or it's going for a walk with somebody, things that we hadn't traditionally done. So that was the major motivation, um, was to, to really kind of empower people to, to be more in control of their own lives and to take their own decisions with our support. That's great. Thanks, Deborah. I think the early thinking and planning was really what are we going to do and why are we going to do it? Um, also, um, kind of thinking through what are the stages of, of the kind of project that we were about to embark on? What were all of the areas that this project was going to touch upon? So we had to really think about the project in, a, in its broadest sense. But then we also needed to do a lot of work with staff around um, why we were doing things and it wasn't about devaluing what had gone on before, it was just about a new way of working. And we didn't have to create any brand new posts to, to um, begin the project. We already realised that we'd got some very good people within the department and what we wanted to do was to actually make this um, our project and everybody's business. So we, we, we had a steering group, we involved a lot of people and over the two years um, some natural leaders within that project have, have evolved and those are the people that now lead the project. Um, and somewhat unusually one of those is our um, principal finance manager who's really, um, is a bit like a converted smoker really. She's seen the light and she, she's away. I think the key points that we've learnt along the way, um, the first one I would say to anybody is um, don't think this will be an easy project and don't think this will be an easy transformation because it won't. Um, but I think the, the first time you get somebody who comes to you and says my life has been transformed by this new approach um, makes all of the kind of the pain and the trials and tribulations worth it. Um, we've learnt that um, staff culture um, is is an absolute must. You know, people have got to really realise what this is about. That this isn't about de-skilling. This isn't about taking away, um, you know, something from people. It's about adding to um, to their role. It's about supporting them to work in a slightly different way. Probably much more fulfilling way, I think, than um, than the, you know than than a kind of a traditional assessment care management process. And the other things we've learnt is the importance of. Um, kind of PR communication, not just with, with the kind of outside world about um, spending public money in, in, a, in a way that people haven't seen before, but also about making sure elected members um, understand and sign up and commit to this, making sure that the corporate management team um, are clear that personalisation isn't just about something social care do, it's about what we do with our libraries, it's about the way our um, kind of refuse service works and identifies vulnerable people, it's about what the community safety services do, so it's a much broader um, thing and, and again I think if you set off and think this is just about social care then you really do miss a trick for people that you're working with. Where I think we are now um, in Hartlepool is probably quite a long way um, along the path. We've got um, elected members sign up, the corporate management team are, are aware of the, um, the kind of transformation of social care, um, there really is sign up to that. We've got a staff group that um, are committed to this and, and are beginning to see the benefits, you know, whilst recognising there is you know, still an awful lot of work to do. Um, you know, we've began to think about how we contract, how we commission services in the future and how we um, set up the infrastructure within the community for people to, to either self-commission or self-plan. I think if I was going to recommend to somebody that they um, go down the personalisation route then there are some key things that I think um, are really important. One is to make sure that you have right at the beginning of this project for citizen leaders. They've been incredibly valuable at saying to us you think this bit of the process is easy but actually we don't understand this. You know, They've also been very valuable at talking to other families who have been um, unsure about the process and what you do find is um, where people um, aren't that sure whether this is the right thing to do, um, the minute they start to work with somebody who says this has transformed my life, this is very different, this is, is much better for me and my family, tend to start to um, kind of retouch base with those kind of values that you, you, know, you wanted to instil in the first place. Generally, the staff here have been fantastic. They've really taken this to heart and have really run with it.